<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to ATV Offroad Fury 2. Still with Insetic, Blank Tester, yep. and Matt Rocks 101. That's me. Alright, now that we've gone through one championship and gotten some profile points from winning races and doing sick tricks, let's look at some of the stuff we can unlock. And, of course, there's more ATVs we can get. But again, remember, since it's not based on stats from 0 to 10 and just on, you know, tuning through engine tuning and suspension, you know, yeah. mixing those categories up, there's not a lot of difference between the higher priced ones and some of the lower priced ones. So is it like really just an aesthetic thing then? Or? I think so. I think this game is kind of focused on the brands it features, mm. which, you know... Shit. Some games do, some games don't. I feel but like this if I one, new ATVs, I'd be more impressed with this, but I don't. Yeah, pretty really. much all the you know cosmetics are based on what brand it is, um, and such. I think the the weirdest thing is like the most expensive ATV was like had all its stats pushed far to the right, but I feel like there are times where you might want it to push like yeah. to the left. There was there so, weren't any that focused on the left side of those scales. Right. All the all the things you had to buy all pushed rightwards. Yeah, which, which is weird. I, think. I don't know if that's a suggestion or not. Like, I don't know this game enough. I don't know, you know, driving an actual ATV enough to know. You know, I'm not a professional racer. I'm s some schmuck who sits in his Can I tell you guys why we play my my great ATV stories of my childhood? Sure. sure. You want uh, them right now, or do you, or you want to wait till later? Is they're pretty um, great. You ATV really want to tantalize the viewers with that, and then just not tell them the story? <laughs> G give me like thirty seconds. So, Blank Tester was sitting with me when we uh, recorded this, and after doing the amateur nationals, I, he was like, "All right, let's test out some of the fine tuning. Let's go for acceleration. You know, um, push, it. push it to acceleration because I don't know the tracks coming up. I don't know what they're going to be like." But I figure, you know, like, in these races, you know, the turn, you know, the straightaways are kind of short enough and there's enough of the turns and the bumps that you'd want good acceleration. Um, also, the pro events have six tracks, as, tracks instead of five, or at least this one does. Mm -hmm. And I'd say the overall difficulty does ramp up a little bit, but again, not a huge amount. Okay, also, now... It's like new people are in. Yeah. Now for the uh, ATV stories from the one and only Alrighty. trucks. So now that, now that when I was but a youngin, I when you were but a wee little bit. When I was but yeah. a when I was but a wee bit. When I was but a twinkle in my dad's dick. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> one day I'm going to have a boy named Matt Trox 101, and he will take up this ATV like me okay. before my father. I have cousins yeah. that live in North Carolina, yeah, and gosh. when I was but a youngin, we used to visit them a bit, uh, quite a bit often. <laughs> And they lived like I guess, and they live I guess it would be a farm, and they were way out in the woods, and they had an ATV, and me, the scary little perhaps, bitch that I was, never wanted to ride their ATV. The hills have eyes? Huh? Did they live on the set of The Hills Have Eyes? I didn't hear you. you go, go, okay, boy. never mind. Yeah. So Dad Trucks 101 gives you this ATV. <laughs> and um. So one day, they finally convinced me. I was scared as shit to get on this ATV. They finally convinced me. They were like, don't worry, Matt. It'll be just fine. All you have to do is hold on to, like, my stomach. Like, wrap your arms, hold on to my stomach, and it'll be just fine. You can ride in the back. And I was like, okay. I get on the back. We're all ready. We're all set. First thing I do is let go, and I go flying off the ATV. I thought you were going to say something like, like you were, they were driving, and then you looked up and you realized you weren't holding on to a person. It was a dummy, <laughs> and they were just fucking with you. And no. like everybody was standing at the sidelines, laughing their asses off you while you careened into you a were tree, screaming. And they're just like, "Bye, Matt. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a stupid. Have fuck. a great trip. See you next fall." No, I, I didn't hold on at all. I panicked and I let go, and they. He, like, gunned it, and I just went flying off the back of the ATV. And then he went, oh, shit, Matt, and then he put it in reverse. You're right, and right over you. Yeah. Like, yeah, where is that kid? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly I, what happened. There he is. I think <laughs> I saw you on, uh, I think I saw you on America's Fugliest Home Videos once. Yeah. Uh, that clip. It wasn't then, on until after the clip. Oh, yeah. And then Was years that the later, Bob I, and Tom Berger on years? Years uh, later, I rode an ATV again uh, at a summer camp. Um, oh, again, out in the backwoods. Uh, this time was South Carolina, and oh. all I can really remember was that that ATV drove like shit, and driving around in it was a real fucking pain in the ass. 
Oh man, you've got standards when it comes to your ATVs. I yeah. don't have standards when it comes to my ATVs, but I can tell you that it's really hard to drive a bad ATV around because all they had was like really bad ATVs and turning was like a nightmare on those things. They never wanted to turn and we had this really tiny course with nothing but turns. And it was just, just it was such a hassle to get around the thing. Yeah, I seriously feel like he's just telling a story about playing this game. A really yeah, tiny course with there was this one turns. time I was playing uh, yeah. this game called ATV Off-Road Fury 2, and there was yeah. this tiny course, and it was really hard to get around this thing. Right, and the, the goddamn thing was so squirrely, it yeah. just turns... Yeah, and, and, and every time you got on a straightaway, the AI just pulled away, but that's okay. Come the next corner, you just take it inside, and you've won the race. And then you looked up, and, and you then realized I would you were crash, actually And when I got up to the next hill, I would just stop. Right. <laughs> yeah, because your flow was off. Right, your rhythm was off, yeah. so you just stop at the top of the next hill. Yeah. Mm hmm. I did what that quite a lot. Like... I never won any races, uh -huh. though, oddly enough. Huh. Again, I don't, I don't know if I mentioned it at the start. Uh, all these races are going to show one lap, um, unedited, but then just show the highlights of the rest of the thing, because. Laps five two laps through five, long. you know, follow the same thing. Unless I, Mirac, like, royally screw up or royally do something right. I think, like, this highlight is something where I feel like, you know, I kind of did the track, this section, better. You okay. know, went over the moguls right and kind of, you know, got my lead forward or whatever. Yeah, I just, uh, I was just like, what if you were, like, what if you were riding the ATV and then, like, while you were riding the ATV, you, like, looked down at your hands, and you realized you weren't wearing gloves, and then you realized you were a Lovecraftian horror. I thought you were going to say like, you realized you were naked. No, I mean, that's happened to you me ever, before, You but... ever had a dream where you were a you dream. Know, in the middle of class, naked, riding an ATV? <laughs> yeah, on the teacher's face. Dude, yeah. that, I didn't have a dream about that. That happened. Right, oh. first day of school. First day that's of school. That's why you got expelled. I, I just through the door to, on an just ATV. My first day of college today, and, uh... You know, or yeah, and that's what happened. I was I was right naked that riding an ATV to you. around that happened class. To you this morning. And my yeah. teacher was like, Matt, 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 why are you riding that ATV naked through class? And I was like, Oh, this isn't yeah. a dream. Oh no. Yeah. And then you tried to take it home, and like your face got grinded on. Right. Yeah. Uh, they won't As let me come back to college. By the way, they kicked me out. Uh, oh, good. That. All right, good. So yeah. I'm gonna. Well, you know, time. some some people college just isn't for some people, <laughs> right? You know, and it, and some colleges aren't for some people. It's good to establish early on. You know, if college just ain't right for you, right? I mean, if if coming to school, if coming to class naked is a requirement, then maybe college isn't for you. Yeah. I don't know, or maybe college is for you. <laughs> Depends on the college. Depends on the person. <laughs> well. You know, I don't think anyone will want to see me naked. But, <laughs> well, know. I go to, uh, I mean, I really, I'm thinking about applying to naked ATV class. Um, no, they they don't. Yeah, don't do that. It's like a five-hour lab Friday morning. The thing no is, it's a five-hour lab Friday morning, 7.30. The final's like at like six o'clock in the morning. It's crazy. And the worst <laughs> yes. part is the class fills up way too quick. Yeah, there's only five spaces. <laughs> it's a five-hour lab and they give you half a credit hour. It fucking sucks. Yeah, I know. Who came up with this class? What it's a on a pass-fail, too. A bunch of so. flipping morons. Yeah. 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 A bunch of flipping morons. There's oh. a written final for it, too, and they make you, like, do, do a ball stamp. On it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you go fast? Yes, no. <laughs> Two Dude, laps every no single row. time you're getting wiped out right there. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's, uh... That's what the real world is like. Yeah. I mean, you take corners and get oh, wiped out. Oh, killed that guy. But then I wipe him out. Yeah, ATV racing is a bloodthirsty <laughs> sport. Yeah, it's like roller derby. I mean, I, I mean, cool. there's probably a bunch of other reasons you shouldn't enroll for that class, but one of the main ones is, you know, I want you to keep living, Matt. You're very important to me. Wow. Well, yeah. That might be the closest you've ever come to expressing a heartfelt human emotion. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah. No, 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 it's not emotion. It's just that. It's not just you. That he, I'm talking to Matt. Oh. <laughs> He giggled a little bit at that. Oh, yeah. The giggling's the best you can get out of this kid. Yeah. yeah. He, he Have you ever heard him laugh? No. I met him in person. I was like, hey, Matt, I got you this. You know, I knew, I found out that your uh, great-grandfather was a war hero, and I found his purple heart. Here it is. And he just went, oh. 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 But, uh, yeah. So, 
This is kind of that the, building's gonna fall down. This is kind of the point in this series where things take a turn for the worse. Cause oh, good. so far, acceleration's really helped me out. Lots of small straightaways, lots of corners and such. But as you could tell, just look in the lower left. This seems like a map that Blank Tester would make. This is the kind of map I would make. Yes. Yeah. Oh so my god. A, a ton of long straightaways. Only all the ramps would be facing the wrong way. A ton of long straightaways. <laughs> and of course, there are bumps and such. But that means with those straightaways, I just can't get the speed and I can't right. get the preload uh, distance. Yeah, because acceleration's great for corners, but acceleration's great for getting up to top speed. But I need more top speed to do these jumps. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't think the AI. I don't know if the AI can do you know like superhumanly well. Uh. They might be limited, but they do manage to take everything as perfect as they can get. And to see them just drive away from you and then coast over this jump where you just smack against the end of it and have to limp over kind of makes me feel like, well, Why don't damn. you just pull up to the top of the hill and stop? <sighs> I wish I knew this was coming. <laughs> you know? Though, I, I will say that with the, with the preloading and with the jumps... The game does do kind of a good job at not having it so you you should just, you know, cut inside every corner and such. You do need to be a little tactical, and that was me checking to see if I could just skip that part of the track, and no, you can't. Damn. But like, so there's, like, no shortcuts. You can't just... No, no shortcuts. But, like, maybe you should take the outside part of this turn so you can get more speed to do this jump. Like, when you know it's coming, it's decent. When you don't, though, you just feel like, why am I doing this, you know? Yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah. They're like way ahead of you. Yeah. <sighs> and this is a long course. Like I so think the most creative part of this game so far has been the skyboxes, and even then, I haven't really noticed the skyboxes. They're all right. I've never paid attention to them. I haven't really paid attention to what's going on in the tracks. This, even I don't know, it's hard to look at this game. Everything looks so muddy bland. and bland that like. I mean, when did... I feel like SSX, like, looked better than this, and that came out with the same oh, year, definitely. didn't it? Uh, I, I, again, I don't really remember what year this came out. Actually, it had to be I around the same time. Could tell me. It's just... Uh, this is just so hard to look at a lot of times. Yeah. 2002, late it's 2002. so brown. And yeah, I don't... So SSX it's just the whole around, thing is so yeah. just muddy and brown looking. Like, you can't really I mean, tell anything apart. SSX was kind of kind of stands apart though because it, it went for kind of a bright colors neon sort of feel yeah. you know with the colors but I and mean, this game's kind of going for a more realistic I was thing. gonna say but I feel like just brown the real world is muddy, muddy doesn't and brown. look realistic yeah the real the trees like, just look really washed out I mean yeah. you, you get out to a desert and of course it's gonna look really tan really orange you get it's out to a muddy field and of course it's going to look kind of brown and such but yeah they don't really do a great job with what's going on around the course uh you know brightening it up or or making it look you know one thing this game got completely right is they oh nice uh they oh, absolutely they absolutely uh, perfectly captured the exact right number of people cheering these people on oh my god you killed another guy yeah. Yeah, well, let's sink in. Yeah. And then we can explain it. Because there's nobody around. There's no crowds. There's, there's no one. There's nobody standing nearby. There's yeah. No one's watching. Maybe, no maybe this character's mom, you know, showed up to support no, the person. No, she's watching from home. No, but, but she was inside that cabin at the bar at happy hour <laughs> while you were racing. While you were giving it your all, she was giving it her all, right. pounding down that double shot of Bailey's Irish cream. Wow, <laughs> just Irish cream. Just Irish cream. Wow. She goes hardcore. She's a hardcore mom. Just cream. Yeah. Also, the the AI seems to have some real trouble with the end of this course. Like, that's two people that just crashed on nothing. Oh, you didn't kill that guy. Yeah, no. Uh, you let but him I mean, live. To, 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 to highlight this whole race, and note that I've been driving for 13 and a half minutes by this point. I, I, it's just, you know, maybe catching up at the corners, but then losing out in the long straightaways, and... I'd like to have known to bump top speed instead, but also something kind of magic happens right at the end of this race. Boom! Oh, did you see that go flying? Yeah. That guy flying? <laughs> he well, died. To the moon. I'm gonna show you an instant replay. Oh, thanks. All right. He's what? dead. He was straight, straight up, up above the camera. Straight Jesus. up dead. Um, 
if I haven't mentioned yet, I haven't mentioned it. So if you do more stunts with the you know kind of small amount of tricks that are in this, mm -hmm. uh, you get more profile points toward unlocking ATVs oh, okay. or toward oh. unlocking things. So championship points are just in the championship profile points. Cha championship points are determining if you can continue or not, which the answer is pretty much yes, no matter what. All right. But profile points are you know just what your you can currency buy. for buying. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, this this area looks kind of nice. Yeah, I mean, relatively speaking. I mean, it's more got more of a difference between what you're driving on and what's Freeze. around it. Yeah, grass. Yeah, I, I'd say grass. Oh, wow, I you just think I like how he just went flying off that. Like he didn't like yeah. try to save himself. No, nah, he just went full thematic, full no, thematic. He, full I think thematic. I almost got away with it too. He pulled out his wings and started trying to. Fly away. fly away. He's, he bought out his wingsuit and tried to be in a different extreme sport. Right. Yeah. Today's Deadly Descent. Yeah. And about tricks, yeah, there are like simple one button tricks, and there are harder like two button tricks and three oh, button buttons. tricks. Mm. And you could tell based off of like wh which one is based off of like how long it takes to do and the point value. You know, if it's 500 points or 1,000 or 2,000. But the game really isn't based around tricking. Tricking is kind of something you can do while in the air, and that's sort of it. The tricks are clunky and slow, and it's you can, you know, do multiple in one jump, but you don't get a lot of time to, usually. There's no boost mechanic or anything, yeah. so... Except then, one of, like, the four things you could pick for the championships are freestyle events, which just puts you in large areas where you're supposed to do tricking requirements. I'm not going to be doing those because, honestly, like... I didn't have a very fun time even passing, like, level one of that, and I don't think I could pass the rest of them. Because the game gonna... does not have a good enough tricking system to have tricking events. So I'm going to stick to the racing. Okay. Are you going to do, like, a video just showing it, maybe? Or attack it at the end of another video? Maybe? I don't know, because, like, sometimes I have done videos purely to show off how bad something is, but usually I have, like... And for those, and for this, I feel like all I could do is just try them and get nowhere. And yeah. I don't know if people would want to see that. Post, you know, or if you really want to see that or such. I, I should just mention that for the guides that are for this game on GameFAQs or whatever, there's these long guides for the races that don't even touch on the tricking events at all. Right. Oh. The tricking's an afterthought, both by the developers and by everyone else. At least by the fans that the fans want to have. write in-depth guides like jump over these bumps here and then ride over these and then preload 60% off the next one. Was there really a guide like that? Not not that in-depth, but it is. it was kind of like take these bumps and then take this line through the corner. Oh, you know. yeah. I mean, like, like with, with the races like these and especially the... Uh, the, the motocross type ones mm -hmm. for motocross, you know, where it's really about getting the right line over the bumps, like, you know, the ones you see in stadiums or whatever. Right. I mean, that that's something where, you know, each kind of straightaway and each turn, you do kind of want to be really in-depth and such to get the right line through it. Because you've got, like, 20 people racing on those. Like, have you ever seen the X Games? or Yeah. Pretty much the X Games. Well, what what killed you? Uh, old age. The slow chains of humanity. <laughs> Poison? Yeah. Right at the end. I was just like, uh. <laughs> it just, just crashes into the AC. Yeah. Sad we didn't get a news to replay on that one. So, I mean, like like I said, I didn't really want to pick expert mode, because I didn't really want the game to get harder. Like, I'm on normal, the first events are a breeze, and then by the end, I'm ending up around the middle of the pack. Not because I'm doing really bad, but middle of also, the pack meaning like in the actual individual races, not yeah. by the points. But points also, wise, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. I'm not really doing really bad, but I'm not doing great. You know, so it, it it's so, kind of naturally reflecting how I'm doing. Oh yeah, you were showing me this song. Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty good song. Yeah. Listen to this. Yeah. Well, they the Black, Black Alicious. Oh, okay. Paragraph President Black Alicious. There are a couple decent songs on this. I, song. no, yeah. I feel like they chose particularly like heavy songs for ATV. Honestly, from what I saw and what I heard, it, 
I thought the soundtrack, like, had a couple decent songs and a lot of songs I really didn't like. I just genuinely didn't like. And, like, the the little music jingle that plays before and after every race, I think sounds awful. <laughs> like, I, it just sounds, like, so corny yeah, to me. So cheesy and stuff. Yeah. I think part of the nostalgia as well for this game is that, like, you know, its soundtrack would be pretty good to a kid who probably didn't branch out that much and then, you know, played these PS2 games and heard kind of the kind of heavier stuff, you know, like I I mean, like there was a song by Filter in this game called American Cliche, and that got me to look up Filter the band and, you know, some of their But you didn't learn it from this this game, you learned it from a different game No, no, American Cliche is in this game isn't it also in Sean Palmer? No, no. Oh. Uh, this, this, this. No, it was this, a different. Song. This soundtrack shares like four songs with the Sean Palmer Snowboarder soundtrack. Huh. Um, and considering there were only like twelve songs in each, then uh, that's uh, yeah, quite a lot of that. But I mean, this has a filter song. This has a System of the Down song. Yeah. This yeah, has I heard this. fake this corn and uh, also uh, a song by Quarashi, mm. uh, "Stick 'Em Up," which. Uh, I remembered, you know, from playing this game. I didn't remember much about the game, but I remember that song from it. Again, like I said, it, it seems like they chose particularly heavy-sounding songs for something that seems so unheavy. Honestly, I feel like this kind of hip-hop that we're hearing right now is actually a better fit for for the the ATV stuff than than yeah, like the heavy all metal the corn and everything. Mm-hmm. But then again, they do have a song that's by like D-list Missy Elliott that just sounds bad. Oh, yeah, there's the true. D-list Missy Elliott. I mean, Missy Elliott is C-list herself, but there is a at D-list. this point, yeah. yeah, she was talented when she was on top of her game. <laughs> when was she on top of her game? Like this? Back when she was popular. Yeah. When, when I guess, was well, I guess you're on top of the game when you're the most popular. Yeah. Yeah, this this doesn't seem to go at all with what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, watch me slowly roll over these moguls while blasting it. Out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Da, 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 yeah. This, uh, you know, I, the more I look at this, the more it, I, it very much appears that this game is much less about racing your opponents and much more about just knowing the track better than them. Yeah. It doesn't seem to be getting, a whole lot of getting the right line racing as much as there is like a bunch of people trying to trying Dude, to get there to get in your way. Yeah. Huh? They're just obstacles that might be close to you. Yeah, I, it really doesn't look like there's that much racing going on. It's just whoever can get the best line goes the fastest. It's not really like, oh, this guy's, he's going faster than me. It's much more of, oh, this guy found the better line. Wow, did you just grind that Yeah, piece? despite, you know, bouncing off his head at the end, it wasn't enough to put me ahead. You know, I, uh, you said this when, when you played the game a little bit and you came back to me to talk about it, like, just kind of air your thoughts. You said, uh... Uh, one of the things that you take away from this game is just that if you want to win the races, take the inside turn most of the time. Yeah. Just most of the time, take the inside of the turn. Yeah. And I, I responded to you by saying that that's kind of like investment advice that just says buy low, sell high. I mean, <laughs> in a race, yeah, take the inside of the turn. But I mean, I'm not saying that as a thing on you. I'm saying that as like, if the game is so bland that that's the advice you have to give about the game, yeah. you know, turn, get, take the inside of the turn, then... Uh, I don't know. Yeah. It's, like, there's not a whole lot going on. I mean, there's it? no mechanic you, you know, could master to there's make no yourself boost. better. The there's tricking no, there's no, there's no drifting. Yeah, no drifting. No drifting. No, you know, just, hey, no hey, aesthetic, how do I do well at this game? Well, you just, you know, take the right line and you go inside on the corners. Learn the map after your first track, or learn the track after How your first How do I get good then... at this game? Well, you just kind of play it. and uh, yeah, play, yeah, play the game. Play it, you'll it do you all can. right. You yeah. know, I'm not saying I'm the best at, you know, these types of games. There's probably people who are better than me at it, but I can come in, you know, first enough to just straight up win the competition, play it, and yeah. then I just come in third the rest you know of the what's, time. You know what's a game that you are really good at? What? AMFX rerolling. You're right. I'm the best. Yeah. I actually rolled like ten perfect games in a row, but I wasn't recording at the time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Did your girlfriend in Canada see you? <sighs> She'd come down for that particular weekend when I wasn't there. Uh, well, actually, I started playing AMF bowling, and she left like at like two seconds in. Oh. And you know, so she even she can't 
No. A testament. It's it's just something you have to trust me on. Okay, well, <laughs> that was Pro Nationals. I'll be going to a different event next time. Swag.